This initiative was funded by the National Institutes of Health, National Cancer Institute, Division of Cancer Prevention. Age is the number one risk factor for cancer, and our population is aging. Nevertheless, the study of geriatric tolerance of cancer treatment is insufficient, and cancer clinical trials do not adequately include older adults. We can improve clinical trials by integrating better metrics for older adults. Our research indicates that assessing older adults for potential areas of vulnerability can improve treatment tolerability. As cancer clinicians, our patients often talk to us about concerns, such as needing assistance with their daily activities, medical comorbidities, mild cognitive impairment, limited social support, living alone, transportation, pharmacy, and frailty. The geriatric assessment measures these concerns in the following areas, physical performance, comorbidities and polypharmacy, cognition, nutrition, psychological status, social support, and function. Our previous studies have shown that the assessment guides patient-centered care in important ways. It predicts toxicity and mortality, guides decisions in care management, fosters communication, and improves clinical outcomes. In our more recent study, Oncology clinicians use geriatric assessment to guide management recommendations among individuals over 70 before they started new cancer treatments. The results indicated that clinician reported toxicities were lower for the group receiving geriatric assessment and management than for the group receiving usual care. Patient reported symptomatic toxicities were also lower for the group receiving geriatric assessment and management. It's important to note, however, that while the geriatric assessment improved treatment tolerability, older adults still experienced very high rates of toxicity. This highlights the need for continued efforts to mitigate adverse events in this high-risk population. Patient reported symptoms change over time. This reinforces the need to design clinical trials that carefully consider when and how often to ask patients about treatment tolerability. Results from the latest study also reinforce that symptom burden is linked to more hospitalizations, mortality, and dose modifications. Further study is needed to understand the ways that tolerability is impacted by aging-related conditions, social determinants of health, cancer treatment and type, adverse events, including both clinician-assessed CTCAE and patient-reported outcomes with pro-CTCAE, physical performance, and emotional and psychological factors. This research addresses patient advocacy by focusing on improved care for older adults with cancer, prioritizing their comfort, functionality, treatment tolerability, and tailored support. To learn more, visit the NCI Tolerability Consortium website today. U.S. Department of Health and Human Services, National Institutes of Health, National Cancer Institute, cancer.gov, 1-800-4-CANCER.